Hey everybody, Dave here for Beast Camera. In this week's video, we're going to talk all about how to photograph the upcoming eclipse. Now, the solar eclipse is coming up on August 21st, and it's going to be the first time in about 100 years that a total solar eclipse is going to be visible from one side of the country to the other. Now, the path to totality is very narrow, but uh, here in the south, uh, we, there's only a few hours drive away from seeing the total solar eclipse so you either go to South Carolina or way out in the mountains of Western North Carolina you will be in the path of totality now here in Raleigh we will see about 98% coverage of the eclipse um, but if you have a chance to be able to go take the time and drive somewhere to see totality I think it would be well worth it. again this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience uh, that you'll see this next solar, total solar eclipse will not happen in this country for probably another hundred years um, And if you want to see another total solar eclipse, you're gonna have to fly to some other part of the world to go see it Now the total solar eclipse is only gonna last about two and a half minutes uh, where it's in totality So not very much time um, And I wanted to give you some tips on how to properly photograph the total solar eclipse Now the first thing you are going to need to purchase is a solar filter now we all know that Growing up, our parents told us never to stare at the sun. It can do damage to our eyes. Um, and the same thing applies with our camera. We do not want to point our camera directly at the sun for any prolonged period of time as that can damage the camera. So that's why we have these solar filters. Now these are ND100,000 filters from Marumi. We have them at 58 millimeters and 77 millimeters. So these are super, super dark. Um, so it's basically going to cut out all the light except for the sun. Um, so... Um, these would make it safe for us to view. You can also pick up Eclipse viewing glasses for fairly cheap. Um, they kind of look like the 3D glasses that you get at the movie theater and you put them over your eyes and safely watch the Eclipse as well. As far as other equipment, you're going to need a good rock steady tripod um, and I would also suggest having a remote shutter release so you can uh, avoid any camera shape when taking your picture now for your lens selection that is going to vary based on your artistic taste um, but if you really want to fill the frame uh, with the sun you're going to need at least a 300 millimeter lens or longer um, you can always crop in and post but you know you depending on how many megapixels your camera has you might lose some detail um, cropping in all the way especially if you're shooting with a wide angle lens another big safety note that I want to bring up is do not look through the optical viewfinder on your camera use a live view even if you have the solar filter on there's the magnification factor by looking through the optical viewfinder and you can still do damage to your eyes so just be on the safe side use the live view mode on your camera now that we have all our equipment we are ready to shoot the Sun now as far as your ISO settings, I would shoot at your native ISO that your camera has. That's for most cameras going to be the ISO 100 or 200. Um, for your aperture, I would shoot wide open, either 2.8 or f4. Um, and this way, it will be allowing in the most light as possible. And then your shutter speeds are going to vary. Now, as the eclipse reaches totality, we're going to go from a bright, broad daylight sun all the way to twilight. Um, and you might even be able to see stars during the totality because it's uh, going to be completely blocking the sun except for the corona, coronal ring. So your shutter speed is going to change drastically. So what I would suggest doing is practicing uh, days before the eclipse. Go out, put your solar filter on your, ca on your camera and try taking pictures of the sun um, at different exposures to try to get <clears throat> a good exposure. This way you're going to feel a lot more confident on the day of the eclipse. Now don't be afraid to underexpose by one or two stops. If you have the highlight warning on your camera, turn that on this way. Um, you could always bring that back in post if need be, but I would say underexpose by at least a stop or two. Now once the eclipse does reach totality for those two and a half minutes, um, you can remove the solar filter and you can remove uh, your safety glasses and view the sun with the naked eye but this is only during the two and a half minutes of totality as the moon starts to move away you need to reapply your solar filter and reapply your eye protection 
If you were gonna be in an area like right here where you're only gonna see 98%, I would not remove your eye protection. We do not want anybody to do any damage to their eyes or their camera. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. Those are a few tips for safely photographing a solar eclipse. Now, I've never photographed a solar eclipse myself, um, and I'm gonna to have to work that day, so I'm gonna just go outside the store during the eclipse with my camera and try to roll some video for everybody um, to see what I can get. Um, using a fairly long lens on this camera here. And then I will share some of the pictures on our uh, Facebook page. So now if you need to come in and pick up your solar filters if you haven't done it yet, you can pick them up here. Again, we have them in 58 and 77 millimeter filter threads. And you can come find us at 5039 Falls and News Road in the Quail Corner Shopping Center, Falls and News in Millbrook here in North Raleigh, or give us a call at the store, 919-836-2222. So if you like this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already as I put out new videos every single Friday. And leave a comment down below, let me know where you're gonna be going to view the eclipse. I have friends that are going just to South Carolina. I have other friends that are going clear across the country um, to photograph this. So I'd be curious to see where everybody is gonna be going to photograph the eclipse, or are you just staying here? So that's gonna wrap it up and I'll see you all next week.